Hi, and welcome to this demo showcasing how HCL Accelerate can help teams quickly identify bottlenecks in their process to optimize the flow of software innovation. To begin, and as a quick product overview of the HCL software solution being shown, HCL Accelerate is a value stream management platform that consolidates data from multiple sources into a single view so businesses can make faster decisions based on data as they work to maximize pipeline efficiency. Acting as a team lead, I need a solution which can import data from the many products in our tool chain, from ideation to implementation, and present that data in a single pane of glass which would allow me to perform bottleneck analysis, identify the source of the bottleneck with pinpoint accuracy, and take corrective actions based on data to remediate issues and improve flow. To make this task easy, included in HCL Accelerate is an AI capability known as Bottleneck Detection. Bottleneck Detection uses machine learning and business rules monitoring value stream data by applying algorithms to identify which stage the team should focus on improving first as work moves from stage to stage in the pipeline. The bottleneck algorithms are able to detect dominant stages, this is when the amount of time work spends in one stage exceeds the sum of time that work spends in all the other stages across the pipeline. Batching, when work moves from stage to stage in mass as a group. And inflow outflow asymmetry is detected when there is a large number of work items flowing into a stage in comparison to work flowing out, which is disrupting flow. And this is the one we will highlight in the demo. So let's get into it. Looking at the value stream view of our demo team's pipeline, the team lead can see all the work currently underway and the various phases and stages that work is currently in. Reviewing several of the metrics currently displayed, it is noted that there is overall improvement across key measures like lead time, cycle time, build frequency, and deploy frequency. However, looking across the pipeline, HCL Accelerate is showing that the selected for development and in-progress stages may have a problem as the work-in-progress limits set by the team have been tripped. Enabling the bottleneck detection metric confirms an imbalance in flow of work where the selected for development stage is being swamped. And armed with the ability to see across the entire pipeline, quickly looking at stages before and after the bottleneck in HCL Accelerate, the team lead suspects that a backup of work-in-progress is hampering the outflow of work from Selected for Development. Utilizing the DevOps query language, the team lead is able to filter data to determine root cause. Entering a simple filtering statement against data stored in HCL Accelerate's repository reduces the number of dots, showing only work items meeting the search criteria. And it just so happens that there are three work items the same number which caused the work-in-progress limit to be tripped at the in-progress stage. Clicking on one of the dots shows that the work item is a story of low priority. Viewing the details, the team lead can see who submitted this request, who has been assigned this request, and when the request was created. And after looking at the audit history of this work item, the team lead also confirms that this particular work item has not followed the approved process and is in violation of governance policies. But before jumping to any conclusions, the team lead decides to do further investigation. Looking at the other work items, it appears that all three have been assigned to the same developer. And a quick look at how work is distributed across the team in HCL Accelerate swim lane view confirms this. After applying more filters, the team lead realizes that these three work items are to be included in the current sprint. Now concerned with the team's ability to meet the needs of the business in this active sprint, the filtering query is removed to show that the developer in question has three other work items already assigned based on that person's experience level, the complexity of the change request, and that person's previous throughput capacity. Adding three more stories of low priority will certainly impact flow. Now this may be enough information to reach out to all involved and explain that while adding a work item in the process appears harmless, this may negatively impact the team's ability to get higher priority work out to the end user faster. 
and circumventing the process may force the auditors to delay a release until a review of all changes are completed and signed off. And as the team had implemented HCL Accelerate, they were able to resolve this bottleneck issue before the business was negatively impacted. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.